fans heading out to football games on this Sunday, well, they know the harsh reality. Sometimes the tackling isn't just down on the field. Fighting in the stands has really been getting out of control, and increasingly it's being captured on YouTube. So now police in Seattle are going undercover to try to stop this, and ABC's Neil Karlinski has more. It's Sunday, it's September, and that can only mean one thing. It's game time. Football. But at too many games, that's also meant this. Back, no! oh, no, Violence. Fan versus fan, all over YouTube. Often brutal, and often just because someone is cheering for the wrong team. Everybody likes to root for their team. Everybody wants to be a part of that fanfare. But we're just tired of all the violence. The NFL is tired of it, too, and wants people to know it's doing something about it. So today in Seattle, while the game is in motion, the Seattle Seahawks have arranged for undercover police to be in the stands, working a sting as creative as it is unusual. Officers will be dressed in the visiting team's colors, acting as bait for would-be hooligans and as a deterrent. That's some um, plainclothes officers wearing opposition jerseys. People don't know where the police are. And what we found is when people don't know where the police are, they're more likely to be on their best behavior. You don't even have to break the law. Fans caught being generally disruptive or obscene can be kicked out and forced to take a four-hour online course before being allowed to buy a ticket and come back to another game. Adding to the steep price of a ticket, that course will cost $75. Fans fed up with all the violence welcome the fresh idea. There are knuckleheads out there and they're gonna make sure the knuckleheads pay for what they do. Other teams are doing their own stings, hoping to keep fans safe from each other. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle. Cracking down on knuckleheads.